actually gone and caught up with a film that I didn't actually manage to get to see uh, when it opened a couple of weeks ago, and I think that quite a few people have been taking their kids to see it. So I thought, well, I'm, I'm really looking. For, I was one I was really looking forward to, and it's the Good Dinosaur. It's the new Pixar film, and it was one was actually should have been out last year, but Pixar took this thing of actually delaying it, saying that there was story problems. And I, th I think that, to be honest, I, I can't see what was wrong with it. You know, they must have really changed quite a lot, to be honest, to uh, to to push it that far, uh, to 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 re-release it in a, almost a year later. So what it, it asked you is the question of what ha happened if the asteroid didn't hit 65 million years ago and uh, the dinosaurs didn't get wiped out so they developed as the uh, as people developed at the, well, as well at the same time so we're talking a few million years after uh, what happened and it's all about a young dinosaur and he he's uh, basically called Arlo and he is a little bit weak he's one of the weak ones in his family and his family are a bunch of farmers brontosaurus like looking things and uh it's it's really sweet he gets lost he gets basically he gets swept down a river and he gets lost and he runs into a little boy a, li a little boy who, who he names as uh, spot <laughs> who becomes his pet and it, it to be honest it, it's, it's all about them trying to get back and it's him going against different dinosaurs and you see that there's t-rexes there there's pterodactyls uh all, all of you all of your favorite dinosaurs and it's it's really nicely made. It's a really charming story. It's I think some of the some of the scenery animation looks absolutely realistic. It's really it's really absolutely mind blowing. Two really good lead characters, but I think the dinosaurs don't look that realistic. They look very cartoony in a very realistic environment, and I think that's why it's doing as well as some of the other Pixar films. Mm. It's definitely not as good as Inside Out, which I reviewed on DVD a couple of weeks ago, uh, which is still my favourite film of the year, unless that, that, that film just what's coming out next week. Just in case the station's editor or the head of region is listening, nothing as good as, as Inside Out, uh, Jamie. The BBC's uh, current <laughs> affairs strand on BBC One, fine piece of journalism. It is, it is very good That's indeed. the same thing, isn't it? No, no, it's, it's the Pixar film, no, which not, is probably not, not going to be DVD, my film the, the best year. bits of Paul Hudson. But I'm st yeah, I'm still going to give this one the good dinosaur four stars, though, because I thought it was really good, I thought it was really entertaining, and at the end of it I did cry. Again. That's all I ever seem it to do. Passes the the yeah. tears test. It, it does. There's a little tear jerking moment at the end. I, I really enjoyed it. There's, there's loads of Christmas toys out and everything like that, and I think the kids will enjoy it. It is a little bit scary in 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 parts. The te the pterodactyls. It is a PG instead of the usual mm. U. Uh, the pterodactyl bit is, I think, is a little bit scary because they do try and chase a few people down mm. and things like that. Uh, but uh, if you've got, you know, probably younger than six or seven, I'd maybe give it a miss. But Everybody else go and see it, it's really lovely. Okay.